This is Twit. Okay, so what's up with DJI lifting firmware enforced drone geofencing? Um, I post the I posed the introduction of this next surprising bit of news as a question. Uh, so I'll follow up with and and is it really? But like it is. So why? Um, I was put onto this um, by a short one-liner in the Risky Business newsletter, which said simply, DJI gives the middle finger to U.S. Facing an impending ban in the U.S., Chinese drone maker DJI has removed firmware restrictions preventing its drones from entering no-fly zones. So I thought, whoa, if true... I didn't see that coming and there's no way to smoke that you know and that's no way to smoke the peace pipe with authorities in the US. The risky business news then provided a screenshot of a posting by Matthew Stoller on Blue Sky Social which read Matt posted Chinese drone maker DJI the world's biggest drone producer is disabling geofencing in the US. You can now fly your drone over airports, military bases, prisons, infrastructure, wildfires, and the White House, if you want. This is a gloves-off move by China, he finished, and then provided a link to the Viewpoints blog at DJI. Okay, so viewpoints bills itself as the official dji blog and it's at dji.com i've got a link in the show notes for anyone who's interested so last week's dji blog this was early in the week uh is titled dji updates geo that's all caps geo system in u.s consumer and enterprise drones and the posting says the update follows changes in Europe in 2024 and aligns with FAA remote ID objectives. DJI has announced updates to its geofencing system, GEO, which applies to most of its consumer and enterprise drone products in the United States. These changes will take effect starting from January 13th on both the DJI Fly and DJI Pilot flight apps. This update follows similar changes implemented in the European Union last year. With this update, DJI's fly and pilot flight app operators will see prior DJI geofencing data sets replaced to display official FAA data. Areas previously defined as restricted zones, also known as no-fly zones, will be displayed as enhanced warning zones, aligning with the FAA's designated areas. In these zones, in-app alerts will notify operators flying near FAA designated controlled airspace, placing control in the hands of the drone operators in line with regulatory principles of the operator bearing final responsibility. Okay, so, you know, they're saying the same thing, but in a sort of in a gentler way, uh, they said to update operators need to connect their flight app to the internet and click update <laughs> on the fly safe pop up notification. When DJI and this is them, what they're saying when DJI first introduced the geo system in 2013, so 12 years ago. Consumer drones were still a relatively novel technology, and formal drone flight rules and regulations were sparse. The geofencing system was created as a voluntary built-in safety feature to help foster responsible flight practices and prevent DJI drone operators from unintentionally flying into restricted airspace, such as around government buildings, airports, or prisons. Hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet from Security Now. If you want the whole show, you can get it at our website, twit.tv slash SN. Of course, you can subscribe to Security Now on your favorite podcast, or just click one of the links below. Security.
care 